Hello everybody, welcome back to CNS Corvettes in Sarasota, Florida. I'm your Corvette buddy Lyle here to talk about more interesting, exciting Corvette parts, concepts, and news. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe below down here and hit the notification bell so that you get made aware of whenever we make new content. I know everybody says it, I know it's a pain in the butt, but I really appreciate it because it helps us continue to help you. Also, if you haven't already got it, remember we do have some of our CNS Corvette t-shirts left and they do come with a nifty window sticker. Uh, they are available on the link below here under the, uh, under the title of the video. And you can go to our website if you would like one. We have sizes small all the way up to 3XL. So if you need one of our shirts and you want to help promote us and we've helped you in the past, this is a great way to thank us for doing so. So without further ado, on to today's video. You know, so many of the videos I do for you guys here at the shop are informed and created, not necessarily by me, but just by situations that come up in the shop right next door. And it's things that are worth talking about. And I can't tell you how often a customer's car has taught me something or made me think something was more important than I thought it was previously. And then I share it with you. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the value of experience when choosing a repair facility for your car. Now, this isn't just for Corvette, it's for anything, but anytime you have something that's relatively specialized, like a Corvette or a Porsche or a Ferrari, it's always good to be able to find a shop that has a lot of experience with that specific vehicle. Because if you go to somebody who doesn't have experience, they may be able, willing and capable of doing the job but they're going to be learning how to do it on your car because they have to look it up, da, da, da. You don't want somebody going to school on your car because even though their intentions and their skills are very, very good, they don't know the tiny finesse bits that go into doing a job. Good example, this week we were doing a torque tube rebuild on a 2002 Corvette. Uh, and we found a couple of things that had been done relatively recently by a different shop when they rebuilt the torque tube that caused serious problems in the car and i want to explain to you what those problems were briefly and then you can make your own choices about what you think may or may not have happened so car comes in clutch is just not not disengaging it's like it's always stuck even when you're sitting with it fully pushed to the floor it wants to creep and it stinks and there's other problems and so we get it up in the air and this thing had just had a fresh clutch in it by a different shop had a fresh torque tube done. Okay, so here's what we find. Now, in the back of your engine, in the crankshaft, where the input shaft of your torque tube goes into the back of the engine, there is what's called a pilot bearing. And this snout goes right into here, and this rides in there, and this then drives your torque tube, your drive shaft, your transmission, everything back there. So what we found in this car was that the clutch was basically melted because it had so much pressure on it. We were like, did they shim the slave? What, what did they do? How did they achieve this? I will show you how they <clears throat> achieved this. Pilot bushing in the crank. When we got the pilot bushing out, behind it were the remnants of the previous pilot bushing. So instead of this riding where it was supposed to, they didn't know enough to remove this addendum, this extra leftover part from the previous unit. So this was pressed backward just, just that much. And what that did was that pushed this backward, which put pressure on the entire system. Therefore, they killed the clutch. Now, I can also tell you that if you put the wrong pilot bearing, there are two flavors of this in the LS1, the LS2, the LS3, and if you put the wrong one in, it actually puts pressure onto the crankshaft, just a few pounds of extra pressure forward on the crankshaft, and what that can do is put too much thrusher, pressure on the thrust bearing on the, in the crank, and it will kill an engine inside two minutes, literally at idle. Two minutes, running, 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 <laughs> done. How do I know? Ask me how I know. That's how we learned that. Thankfully, we landed on our own car. <sighs> Torque tube installed at the wrong angle. Now, if you're familiar with the C5, C6, C7, and how those things come apart and go together, 
you got your engine at the front of the car, the torque tube in the middle, and then your transmission and the differential at the rear. The torque tube has a snout at the very tip that goes through your clutch, assuming it's a stick shift, and into the back of the engine, right? Here's what happens though. When you are doing this job, if you don't have the proper jacking mechanisms and the proper way to do this, the idea being you get that whole assembly, torque tube, rear suspension, everything up in the air, and you get it angled up to the right position to where this is going in this way, nice and straight. If you are doing it on the ground or you don't know what you're doing and you're trying to install it going up this way, it'll go in, but it's going to flip over. It's going to damage this, believe it or not, even though this is hardened, you can get this bird, which will then kill this bearing, which will then cause you to have to do the whole job over and over again until you get this aligned the right way to then push it in. Um, all of these exp all of these problems are very very expensive and again these are done with the best of intentions but it's a lack of experience and a lack of uh, key knowledge that causes these types of problems so when you're going out to find a shop to work on your car think about you want to pay for knowledge and experience not just for somebody's labor um, you know you also have the bonus of if it's a, like a shop that specializes in your car they know those cars so well, while they're working on one thing, they're looking at other things, making sure there aren't other issues that are common problems or could become problems in the future, and they can let you know about them before you find out and you're sitting on the side of the road somewhere in the middle of nowhere because something broke. One of my favorite examples of this is, and I'm sure if you're a car guy, you've heard this before, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. So a guy goes, pulls up into 7-Eleven in his car, and he's just running to get a drink. It's a hot day and he really wants a Slurpee. And I like Slurpees. In fact, maybe I'll get a Slurpee later. Anyway, he goes in, gets his drink, comes out, gets in his car, turns the key, click. Nothing. Car was running just fine. Everything was fine. But now it isn't. So he calls the repair service, AAA, whoever. And about an hour later, this old man shows up in a pickup with this tiny little toolbox, shuffles up to his car, opens up his toolbox, takes out a small worn hammer, slides under the front of the car, gets under there, he looks, he looks, and he hears, tap, tap. The old man slides out, walks around, brushes himself off, sits in the car, riggy diggy vroom, car starts, no problem. And the guy's like, that was amazing. Thank you so much. And the old man said, that's no problem. Here's your bail and the bill was $102. And the guy, even though he's thankful, looks at it and goes, wait a minute, this took you five seconds. Why is my bill $102? Why am I paying you $102 just to hit a starter with a hammer? And he goes, oh no, you're not paying me $102 for hitting your starter with a hammer. You're paying me $2 for that. You're paying me $100 for nowhere to hit the starter with the hammer. And that's the joke, and it is. You are paying people for their years of experience and all the painful and expensive learning experiences they've had in multiple years of working on your specific car. And yes, it's going to, there's going to be a bill, but when you get it back, it's gonna be right and it's gonna last. So I just wanted to talk about that because these gentlemen are coming to pick up theirs, 2002 Z06 today, and they're having to pay for this job twice, and I wish I could help them with that. I, I, I was as gentle as I could be, but we did the job and it is fixed. So I hope you guys don't have this problem. If you have stories about where a lack of experience or mechanics haven't known what they were doing and you saw something bad happen, put it in the comments below. I'd be interested to read about your experiences. Until then, have a great week. We'll see you next week.